Hey guys, I'm back with Ship Fix, and I've got two great Ship Fix that I want to share with you. And they're both Knights fanfics. One I wrote, Knights and Riala, we're roomies and it's a living hell. I don't really remember this too much. Um, I really don't. I got distracted by whatever I just read. And this one, Knight's True Story. Yeah, I even drew a picture. I kind of like it, actually. I just don't like what I did here. It's her J.O.D. outfit. Yeah, it's alright. Now that I'm looking at it. Let's start with the shittier story. Um, again, that's real. We're roomies and it's a living hell. Not for 11 and below involves language, violence, and something else. This is going to be interesting. Okay. Chapter 1, Nightmare High. Knight's point of view. They caught me. They actually caught me. For 11 years, I've been avoiding to be brought back to Nightmare. Now I'm in shackles, walking to the throne room. If I dare think about a struggling... If I dare think about struggling out of these shackles, they'll whip me. Literally. <laughs> Kinky. <laughs> There's a nightmare of following me carrying a whip. Jeez, when this hall, when's this haul going to end? Jeez, I'm hungry. Finally, we made it to the throne room. It was just a big freaking room that Wiseman sits around and all fucking, excuse my French, heck, day. <laughs> they brought me somewhere to wait. The nightmares... I skipped the page. The nightmares who brought me here ordered me to sit in a fucking sorry chair. I know, right? What kind of order is that? I was going to sit anyway. After five to ten minutes, they brought me to the throne room once again. I stood in front of Wiseman and my thoughts acting pissy. I don't need the shit, I thought. My language, though. <laughs> We've decided what to do with you, Wiseman said. Since it's the school year, you will serve the last month going to Nightmare High. Okay. If you're like... Okay, say in Knight's Lore they actually caught Knights and succeeded if Riala weren't a dum-dum. Say they caught Knights. I'm pretty sure Knights would be in a more severe punishment than going to school. Even though I'd take that any day. Even though it's school, I'd pick school over death. Is that just me? I think so. Your homeroom is... 12-1 honors. Tomorrow you'll start school. Go. The nightmares who brought me here dragged me out. Literally. Now I'm thinking, why do I have to go to school? Why do I have to start from the 12th grade? Why am I in the cl top class high honors? Oh, I misread that. It says high honors. I'm sorry. Oh, it's not fair. Wait, why am I going to school? They threw me into the into a room. How rude. I'm guessing it's my room. Yawn. I'm so tired. Z z z z z z z z z. I'm gonna skip ahead. Okay. Chapter two: Graduation fight. Knights versus Riala. Knights' point of view. Yay! Gonna get out of this prison in two days. Graduation day is today. I'm actually actually graduating. Oh, by the way, that's in all caps. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Yeah, it's in all caps. Riala, of course, couldn't, actually wouldn't believe it. Miss Rasa. Who the fuck? What kind of last name? Miss Rasa called out the names of those who would be graduating. She called out my name, and this is what Riala had screamed. No, what? No, it can't be true. She's only been in the school for a month. A month? I mean, how's it possible? She couldn't go to summer school. Shouldn't she go to summer school or something? Riala, Miss Rasa told him. Knights went above and beyond, so there's no point of her going to summer school. What about the SAT? She made, up she made that up last week. In the 500-word essay? Made that up, too. What surprises me is that she has higher grades than you do, Riala. Ouch. <laughs> that must have been a kick to the balls. Oh, Lord. 
Oh, that's funny. I don't feel like reading this anymore. It's boring. There's nothing stupid about it, really. It's just... It is dumb, but... Nothing inter... What the fuck? Oh, God damn. What the hell happened to this book? <laughs> uh... Ooh, Terrible Revenge. That sounds good. Chapter 14. What the hell? <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> this is horrible. <laughs> this book, though. <laughs> okay, chapter 14, Terrible Revenge. I'm skipping all this because this is all of this no one needs to know and it doesn't even matter. Okay, it was late, very late. Where's Riala? Nyala said daddy a couple to, oh, they're a couple. I see. They're a couple and they had a daughter. It looks bad. Oh yeah, I remember. Niall is the, 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 the daughter I created for Knights of Riala. I remember. I shipped them so hard. I still kind of sort of do, but now that they're siblings, I kind of don't. I'd always reply soon. Now she was asleep in my arms. The door was open. That way I could see Riala enter the room. Then the door slammed shut. I think it was the wind? Nyala jumped up and started crying. I held her close. It's all right, Nyala, I said. I flew over to the door and pulled the doorknob. It wouldn't open. I put Nyala down and tugged on the knob once more. After five minutes, I wiped the sweat off my forehead and panted. It was stuck. Probably another door jam. I investigated the door to see if I was right. Well, I wasn't. What the hell? I kicked the door angrily. I walked past the mirror and I swear I saw the reflection of the dead prince himself. Prince, who the fuck? <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> I'm thinking about Prince. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I can imagine him. They're just alone in the room. And then all they hear is purple rain. <laughs> it's funny. What? <laughs> oh my god, what? Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm trying to remember who the hell that is. Oh. Second level. Knight's ex-boyfriend. Who's all abusive and shit. I remember. For a second, it really did look like him. I decided to take a second glimpse. Then... Holy crap! I screamed, jumping back. I got so dizzy and scared, I passed out. Knights, wake up. I opened my eyes and saw Riala. I wrapped my arms around him. I saw a prince, I said. I know, Riala told me. I saw him, too. We bowed him and I beat him. He won't bother us again. I'm glad. We pulled away from each other. Riala smiled. His smile looked a bit tighter and wider. Whoa. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> like prince's smile. There's something weird about you, Riala, I said. Oh, like what? Riala asked. Well, for one thing... Your smile is tighter and wider. That's what he said. Okay. And your eyes. They seem lighter than usual. And what's your point? Nothing's the same about you, Riala. I don't feel comfortable around you. I escaped out of his arms and he grabbed me. I thought you loved me, Riala said tightly. Wow, chicka, wow, what? Fuck it. I do, I replied. You're not... Well, you. You're a little like Prince. True. What? Nothing. No, what'd you say? Nothing! Riala slapped me. <laughs> Le gasp! <laughs> Riala, why? I cried. I'm not Riala. He screamed. What? I escaped out of his arms again and scooped up Niala and squeezed her for protect. Since when was she there? Speaking, like, from the looks of it, it looks like she was gone, like, somewhere else. Now I knew that it was Prince because I had forgotten I could tr that he could transform into other nightmares. Wow. What a good time to put that in. What'd you do to Riala? I asked. I put him in agony, Prince said simply. With a snap of his finger, the door closed. Uh, I can't read. The door swung open and there stood Riala. And he fell over. Riala! I cried and ran to his side. Are you alright? I'm fine, 
he said, Riala said weakly. He stood up and put his arm around me for support. Oh, look at the happy little family, the prince said. The wonderful, beautiful knights, the young one, and the one and only Lord of Nightmare, Riala. I bet you know how Master Wiseman died, Riala snapped. Of course I do, the prince said. I killed him. How? <laughs> I exclaimed. That's what I want to know. That part will remain a mystery. Also, this is the Lord. This Lord of Nightmare will be the next to be killed. I won't let you. I jumped in front of Riala. You have to get past me to kill Riala. Knights, I cut off Riala. I'm willing to sacrifice myself for Riala and Nyala. I love them both. I handed Nyala to Riala. But Knights, Riala, I don't care. I want to sacrifice myself. You two mean a lot to me. That's supposed to be two words. You can't stop me. My eyes watered. I'll always remember you. I turned to Prince. Finish me off. Um, okay. <laughs> For some reason that sounded a bit kink more- that sounded more kinkier than I thought. Listen, knights, Prince snapped. This is between me and Riala, not you. Stay out of it. You can't make me. Besides, why do you- do you even know why you want to kill Riala? He took you away from me. First off, I left you for Riala because you kept abusing me. Then we got Matt, Reed, and had Nyala. Okay, that was irrelevant to what he asked. Though, to what he said. That was irrelevant. That was just irrelevant. She didn't have to add all that in. Because it was kind of obvious. So where's my ring? I lost it. On purpose. You're an idiot. What are you talking about? Do you realize... <laughs> You do realize that losing a ring doesn't mean anything, right? Therefore, you're married to Riala and me. How does one not realize this? How does one not realize this? Oh, fuck my life. Don't you ever just want to go back in the past and punch your younger self in the face really hard? My mouth dropped. So you've got a choice. Me or Riala? Riala? I hugged Riala. Alright then. Out of nowhere, he snatched Nyala out of my hands. You have Riala, and I have your daughter. <laughs> Prince said. Oh god, ew. He's into that kind of thing? <laughs> hey, stupid. Do you realize she's 22 months old? I screamed. Yes, she's my daughter. And she won't live long. Why didn't he just say he'd kill her? Prince said. Let her go. Time to say goodbye, Nyala. Nyala began to cry as I disappeared. I can't continue on. This is too stupid. This is perhaps probably worse than Sonic and Amy's baby girl. I was in the fourth grade then. I was in the sixth. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done.